carrying on with some of the larger flowering varieties that I use in the garden between the roses. These are Japanese anemones in pure white. This one is Abbotswood. Also available in a double and several varieties and shades of pink. Uh, the Japanese anemone is a fantastic cottage garden plant. However, it should be approached with caution. It does spread very quickly and is fairly evasive. So don't be afraid to give it a good cut back every so often, get into the garden and dig it up and make sure it's not spreading into your lawn or into your driveway. But Japanese anemones, especially as we approach September, are a really lovely cottage garden plant. Mark and I had these used extensively in our wedding flowers when we got married at the end of August uh, back in 2014. And they really, really are very, very cute. They cut beautifully well uh, and bring into the house to add a lovely splash of colour. I mix them with dahlias and I also mix them with cut roses when I bring them into the house. So the Japanese anemones are really, really very lovely. I love this beautiful sort of disc-like shape to the flower and this beautiful yellow eye that Abbotswood has. It makes it very, very cheerful. Although, as you can see, it's a very stark white, but it does really, really pop. I love this plant, but do be careful if you have a small garden. The larger varieties can be slightly evasive. And look out for the crossing of these. There is a, a sub species on the market which only reaches around two feet high and doesn't spread so that is something that you should really look out for when choosing your varieties but Japanese anemones for me are a firm favourite both in pink and in white.